All right, we have uh, Dr. Alan Organ. Alan, um, I would like to um, invite you to talk about your experience on the Slenderize and also, if you could explain a little bit more about this product, what does it do, how does it work, why is it working so well, uh, maybe some of the companion products. We've, we've got uh, about uh, 30 more minutes, and uh, if you want to take you know, the time you need, uh, you can you know, do 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Uh, we'd love to hear about this. And so uh, please come on, come on. And what I may have to do, guys, is I, I may have to leave you in a couple minutes. So I'll let um, Dr. Organ to uh, handle the call with Ennis. And uh, I have to jump on another webinar that I'm hosting for the team here. And so, um, Dr. Organ, you're, uh, you're on. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I had a couple reasons that I wanted to try Slender X. The first reason was I didn't believe it would work. Um, I wanted to see what would happen, and so um, it wasn't available after I learned about it, and I had to wait for it to come out. And when it did come out, I just stared at the bottles, and I said, how could these two little bottles do what everybody says it's going to do? Well, as a physician, I didn't ever want to be in a position where if somebody said, would you recommend this? I couldn't tell them because I had no experience with it. So I was anxious to try it. So on the first two days when I loaded, I, I thought, eh, nothing's going to work. I don't feel any different the next day that I woke up. But I, I got on the scale and I would lost three pounds. I was still eating regular food and started my 1,250 calories. So I thought, nah, this can't be right. Well, I lost 30 pounds in three months. Um, and that brings me to the second part of my story. Um, as I got older... I got to be a fat cat, um, and I was the first one in my family to develop diabetes. And I thought, okay, come on, it's got to be the way I'm, my lifestyle, it's got to be the way I eat. So I wanted to lose the weight to see if I could get off the medications that my traditionally trained endocrinologist had put me on, especially since they were side effects for all the medications, and two of them caused cancer. And I didn't want to stay on these medicines. So I lost the pounds easily. I came off of two of my medicines, um, and I'm ready to start back on Slender Eyes to do it again so I can get off the third medicine. I'm real close. Um, I wash my sugars very carefully, and he looks at my hemoglobin A1C, which is a measure of how my blood sugar has been for the last three months, and he can't believe that with no medicine or little medicine, I can be back in the normal range. So... That was, that was the second reason why I did that. But as I was losing the weight, um, I started researching as to why it really works. And I know we talked a little bit um, about set points. When I teach my nutrition students about hunger and appetite, there are about 37 different hormones that we, um, we make every day for appetite control. But there are two of them that are very important. One is called ghrelin and the only thing that you need to know is it's the hormone that makes your stomach growl when you're hungry. And the other one is leptin, leptin, and no leptin. Leptin is the, the break. Uh, when you've had enough to eat, leptin goes to the brain and says, don't eat anymore. Blood sugars are fine, you've eaten enough calories. Well, when you put on the weight, you become leptin resistant, so your brain never gets that, that stop signal. So... You just keep making ghrelin, and your stomach growls, and you eat, and you eat, and you eat, and constantly, you know, your, your body looks at calories two ways. You're either in a feast or a fast mode. When, when you're in a feast mode, the body says, someday that's going to stop, so we're going to store extra calories for energy in the future. So you store it as fat, and men tend to store it right around the middle. And when it stores in the middle, it also presses on the kidneys and can raise your blood pressure. When you're in the, uh, the fast mode, your body says, oh, my gosh, we're not getting enough calories. So what we are taking in every day, we're going to take a small portion of that, and we're going to store it in case this thing goes on for a long time. So even though you're fasting, you gain weight, or your weight stays the same and you don't lose it the way you think because you're making fat. So 
that's it's not an on and off switch. It's an on and on switch. It depends on what the conditions are. So I realized that you can set your appetite set point, which is controlled in your brain, by certain things, and these drops actually did it. Now, in the in the slender eyes or slender X, you have ten ingredients. Five help you burn fat. Three of them uh, help you uh, prevent fat absorption, and two of them just boost your your metabolism so that you do burn your weight. And and men do burn faster than women because if you look at it um, historically, women have to keep a certain amount of fat regardless of their age because at some point they might have to breastfeed, and that's where the fat from breast milk comes from. So women will have a more difficult time losing the weight than men do. But the other day when I was teaching uh, one of my classes, uh, I saw a bunch of my students who were, who were on the products, and I just sort of offhandedly said, I see my classes getting smaller day by day. And, and one of the students not on products said, well, we have the same number of students, and I could hear a bunch of giggles in the back from everybody that's lost weight. And it's, it's been phenomenal. Um, my male students and my female students are all losing a half a pound to three quarters of a pound a day, and they're just extremely happy. I have one guy who doesn't even weigh himself anymore. He just says, look, my clothes fit differently, and I feel great. And as long as I'm feeling great, I'm staying on the product. So you know, this is these two products, the, uh, the Slender X and the Accelerator, are very important. But um, Marcus mentioned a little while ago that um, I started him on a regimen to prepare his body. Fat stores everything, stores toxins, stores hormones, uh, stores drugs, uh, stores energy. And so when you begin to lose fat, um, you you can lose certain things. Well, there are four vitamins, vitamins A, D, E, and K, that are fat-soluble, and they get stored in fat. So those are vitamins you don't need to take every day. But when you start losing fat, you lose those stores. And by supplementing with something good like Optimals, you go ahead and, and maintain those four. Actually, three of them are vitamins. Vitamin D, if you've ever listened to me talk, you know it's not really a vitamin because we can't make vitamins. But talk to everybody in Southern California that go out in the sun and turn nice and tan in the summertime, and they make quite a lot of vitamin D in their skin. So it's important to do that. Vitamin A is important for eyes. Vitamin E uh, is important for um, anti-inflammation. So you want to make sure that that you're you're on something to supplement those. But I also said you lose other things that are stored in fat. Toxins, for instance. Drugs are toxins because there's, there's hardly any drug that ever cures anything. Most of the time it just changes the physiology of the body until the body either recovers or it doesn't. So anything you've been exposed to, anything that you've taken that gets stored in fat, when you begin to lose that fat, all of a sudden it gets released in your bloodstream and you can have profound effects from it, especially if the drug is what's called dose-related. So you could actually increase your doses by not even taking the medication. So by using Restorex, anything that gets into the blood or into the GI system that's not supposed to be there gets removed like like uh, um, iron does to a magnet. So that was the second thing that, that I had Marcus on. The third thing uh, that I asked Marcus to go on uh, was coenzyme Q10. Now, we're very fortunate because Rx has the reduced form. What that means is if you go to the store like GNC or Whole Foods and you look at all of their uh, CoQ10s, they're not the right form. They have to be processed by the body before they ever, ever begin to work. So by taking the reduced form, which is the same as if you pass it through your liver once, it becomes active, and it's actually 100 times more active than CoQ10. So you're asking, what does CoQ10 actually do? And the little powerhouses in every one of our 650 trillion cells in our body, we have a little battery called a mitochondrion. This mitochondrion takes the fat, 
the glucose, the fat gets broken down into, uh, the protein gets broken into, and converts it into carbon dioxide, water, energy, and heat. The last three steps to give you all of your energy is determined by CoQ10. So if you have high cholesterol and your doctor has put you on one of the statins, you stop your body's ability to make CoQ10. So that's probably why we have a whole generation of tired Americans, because we're not making energy efficiently. Um, all of us remember when we were in high school having to run that stupid one mile, and after about 300 yards, you had such a side ache that you couldn't breathe anymore, so you had to stop and sit down. Well, you're not properly burning uh, glucose for energy, and you're making what's called lactic acid, and lactic acid causes muscle cramps, and that's why that happened. CoQ10 is involved in the full metabolism of glucose and energy, so that's important. So in addition to taking the Slenderize program, you've got to include the optimals so that you have the vitamins and minerals. You have to take um, coenzyme Q10 to, to help um, burn glucose more efficiently. Uh, and as we're taking our fat and burning it, we're turning it into glucose, and if we don't burn it efficiently, it's going to get stored again. Remember, we're in an on and on switch, so we don't want that excess glucose. Um, and because we're releasing toxins from um, our fat stores, we need to have uh, an efficient way of getting rid of it. So taking um, the Restorex helps remove those. Now, one of our guys talked about, uh, Greg, Greg talked about uh, Rejuvenex. Rejuvenex is my favorite of all of the RX products. Um, I, I take it every day. Uh, when I don't take it, I feel tired. But the clinical studies have shown that when that was added, there's a 17% increase in the amount of weight that's lost um, with all the other products. But it's also important for other reasons. It's you know, if anybody's ever been involved in an MLM where you've touted one of the super juices because of all its antioxidants, Rejuvenex is most of those super juices all rolled into one little capsule. So instead of paying $160 a month times eight or nine for all the juices, you paid considerably less to get all of the antioxidants that nature can provide that helps our body stay in an anti-inflammatory state and to change any free radical damage that we get from our environment. And, you know, the goal for everybody is to go out and exercise and feel healthy, but when you exercise, you cause oxidative stress in your body normally, and Rejuvenex helps remove that oxidative stress. So here we have four companion products to go along with, with uh, Slenderex and Accelerate to help us lose weight. Now, we have another thing. The, a study was done in World War II at Guadalcanal, of all places. How much water does does a body need every day? So I grew up learning, and I heard at medical school that you need to take at least eight large glasses of water a day. Well, that's not exactly true. That's what it took to keep the troops hydrated in Guadalcanal, but it's not what most of us need. So you don't actually have to drink eight glasses a day, but you have to have that same fluid equivalent. And a lot of the food that we eat, it's about 50 to 70% of water, and we get that water in addition to what we drink. So if you want to flush those toxins out, you need to drink lots of water. Well, in Kansas City, uh, the water supply at the university I teach grows out fecal bacteria. Now, this is municipal water for Kansas City. Um, as well as rocket fuel. So why would I want to drink that to flush the toxins out? So purity water uh, is the obvious choice to give a pure water source to help flush the body out of the toxins and not give the body more toxins while you're trying to do it. So purity water uh, is another thing to add. Um, and so when you're on the program, you're going to find it's very easy with the the bottom line is you reset your set point of metabolism so that you're burning the right calories 
and your body knows what your ideal weight is. And so at some point you're going to reach a plateau, and in spite of everything that you do, you're not going to go any lower. And that's because the body's saying, you need this amount of fat, you need this amount of protein, you need this amount of carbohydrate in your body to maintain your basic needs. So that's the program in a nutshell. Um, uh, the bottom line for me is when I tell my students, I've got something that will work, I know it works because I lost 30 pounds in three months effortlessly. I did walking, and that's it. Uh, now that the weather's getting warm in Kansas City after our snowstorm tomorrow, I hope, um, I will be outdoors a lot more, and it will be easier for me to... Um, to lose that second batch that I want. Now, I have been off the drops about five or six months, and I've not gained any weight. As a matter of fact, I'm about ready to put another notch in my belt uh, because my pants keep falling down, and I haven't done anything really different, except I'm not taking the drops at this point. So, guys and girls that are listening, it really does work. Uh, Dr. Oregon, I noticed we had one question uh, come up. Somebody asked if uh, you should stay on the product for at least 90 days. Um, it depends. Um, physiologically, you don't need to be on it for 90 days. Psychologically, yes. Because look at Jonathan. Jonathan lost a good amount of weight in just the first 30 days. The, the problem is if you go ahead and stop too soon, you might easily get out of the habit that you've established in the last 28 days. So 90 days is, is good for those that have to lose a lot of weight. Okay. For those that only want to lose 10 or 15 pounds, yeah, they could do it probably in a month or less, but I recommend they stay on it for at least another month so that they can, when they go into the maintenance mode, their bodies react and they get into the habit. Otherwise... It's just like a fad diet. You know, you're going to regain the weight because you haven't had uh, enough time for your body to adjust. Okay. Well, that, that sounds real good. I tell you, Dr. Oregon, we sure appreciate your, all of your explanation there because it's it was in a form that the average person can understand, not loaded with medical terms and so forth, and uh, that. And I think that really will help a lot of people, uh, you know, follow the program and understand the whys and why nots of, of the program also. I hope so, because knowledge is power. And if everybody understands what's happening, um, they don't have to be a physician to explain it to their neighbor as to what they can do. I mean, I, when, when we were all out in, in uh, Las Vegas, uh, a couple months ago, um, I was sitting with a group of people not associated with RX, and this girl was explaining that her name was Kim. She wanted to be named Kimberly, but her mother named her after an animal in Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book, uh, the, the overweight elephant. She said, now look at me, I'm 279 pounds, uh, and I feel like an elephant. And under my breath, I said, I can fix that. That's all I said. And she said, what did you say? I said, I can fix that. And one other guy that was sitting with us said, yeah, he's a doctor. He can fix that. Well, you don't have to be a doctor to fix that. All you have to do is explain how I explain to you how you can reset your body's thermostat to burn energy. And if you're storing it, you can, you can use that too. So you're never hungry on 1,250 calories plus 500 of your own. 1,750 calories is a lot of calories to eat. Uh, and I find that most people say, I, I, I can't eat that much. Uh, you really need to eat close to that much because if you're putting yourself in that starvation mode, your body's going to store some of those calories and not burn it as efficiently. So you want to make sure the body has everything it needs to burn plus all the excess that you, you've stored. So you, you don't have to be a physician, and that's, that's the way I like to educate people so that, that anybody can go out and replicate exactly what I've done. That sounds real good. I, um, do you have anything else you want to add, or does that pretty well wrap up uh, what, what you want to contribute here to the 
call this morning. One one other thing, uh, I left off something else that's, that's very important, and that's the essential fatty acids. Uh, most Americans eat what's called a standard American diet. The initials are SAD, S-A-D. Um, my parents and my grandparents, when when they were young, uh, you know, everything got fried. Everything got fried in the wrong oil. And that tends to put the body into an inflammatory state, which is not good for weight loss. As a matter of fact, obesity might actually be a result of being in an inflamed state. So the omega-3s and the omega-6s, which are essential fatty acids, are very important in our body. They're essential because we can't make them. We have to consume them in what we eat or what we supplement. Well, omega-6s are the ones that are found in vegetable oil. Um, peanut oil, since peanut is a vegetable, actually half the vegetable oils are probably just peanut oil with a different label. Um, the ratio of the sixes to the threes in the standard American diet is about 30 to 1. Our bodies are designed to have that ratio be about 2 or 3 to 1. So you can either reduce your omega-6 intake or increase your omega-3. So BioProQ and OmegaQ have a great source of highly distilled omega-3s that are mercury-free, um, PCB-free, arsenic-free, um, that are readily absorbed by the body. So if you increase the amount of omega-3s, you don't have to specifically decrease the, the sixes. And you'll find that you'll have some other wonderful effects. Um, your joints will feel better. Your eyesight is better. Your memory is better. Your skin is better because these essential fatty acids, again, can't be made in the body. So in the total program, uh, in the clinical pack, you'll notice that the uh, BioProQ or the OmegaQs are in there, and that's why they're important. That's the only other thing I needed to say, Eunice. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. That's very good because the fats are always sometimes misunderstood as to the uh, needs for that, uh, for the proper fats. 